I mean, not that every anyone has really watched that deeply in. Some people are now starting to discover the first video, but, uh, you know, as an archive of things we're doing. So, you know, okay. you, you could just give her a point of blood and uh, start bloodbinding her uh, this night and the other couple of nights, and she will even let you uh, take two blood points back, since she's clearly interested in being your bloodbound servant. I can. I, I will be down. With, I, I could be down with that. I mean, uh, if that's what you want to do, uh, go for it. Good. I have decided. I have decided that you would make a good sir, a uh, good servant, if you want to. Well, I wouldn't want you to rush into anything. I mean, you could. I would. You would certainly want to do a background check on me if you. I would have no problem with you checking me out properly. Clearly, this is a big decision. I just. It would be have good. You... Uh, if I could uh, get at least something before uh, the uh, a week passes, just to tide me over till you're done I can, checking me out. I can give you, I can give you some right now. Oh, that is very generous. I will certainly accept that. There is again a greedy glint in her eye. And I give her one point of vampiric blood. Okay, subtract it. I'll just note Did down the state. Uh, wait, did I... I had forgotten to write something down in her sheet. Incidentally, you notice that she is carrying a revolver in her purse as uh, she leans over. Namely, a heavy revolver, very similar to the one the team uses. Uh, right, did I have push the talk, push down? I guess not. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you notice that she has a heavy revolver, much like the ones you're using, so she uh, she's clearly armed. And she doesn't walk around uh, that vulnerable. But okay, you are now one step towards uh, binding you another still servant. still there? Uh, can you not hear me? Jackal or...? No, I can. Okay, so yeah. Uh, you notice that she has a heavy revolver in her, uh... Oh, right, I I was writing something into her sheet I had forgotten to add uh, previously. And, uh, yeah, she has a heavy revolver in her purse. Clearly, she goes around armed. You notice as she is leaning over to drink from your wrist. I would expect that in such a... From a... Someone that was a ghoul and someone who was living in such yeah well you don't know what accommodations she'll bring. Uh, I mean she might for example know something that someone might want silenced and you could get into trouble with some vampire due to that right you never know she's a ghoul she's expendable well yeah she clearly is if she's more trouble than she's worth I'm going to uh, throw going to throw her into the fire like seriously I can get another one I mean, this one so, just seems interesting. Yeah, you can just uh, quiz her on some of her skills, if you want. I can do that. I'm going to do that also while she's doing her thing. I mean, she's busy slurping, so uh, you know. I'm like after, so she can an uh, answer uh, me after that. Uh, yeah, she. Doesn't... Uh, Tries to keep drinking, you're gonna have to stop her. That's enough, I uh, grab her by her hair. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm sorry, I got distracted. I understand. Yes, but 
it's... What are you good at? Well, I certainly have some medical training. In my youth, I used to be a nurse. And I certainly know how to wrap men and sometimes women around my fingers if the situation calls for it. My uh, a previous master, master uh, sometimes had me uh, bring over men for so-called threesomes when she uh, was not interested in uh, well you know how went are they have a refined palate it makes it difficult for them to find sustenance sometimes and I used to assist my master with that both in encouraging certain people to donate blood to good causes at times and more often simply seducing them and bringing them back to her apartment Indeed. And of course, she looks at the gun in her purse. I know how to use this. I'm not course, bad at it. I train, know. I've trained regularly for the past two decades. Since I had time to know expect... how to. Go ahead. Do you know how to drive a car? I would assume I will have given her a dot of drive. Well. Yes, as well as anyone, I suppose, that lives in the city. I'm not particularly skilled at it. I mean, if you want a stunt driver, I'm afraid I can't help you that. Unless, of course, you want me to start uh, training myself in that, in those skills. I was just wondering if you, what you knew, uh, knew about a car, because I certainly don't all too much. Well, I would be happy to uh, act as your chauffeur. If uh, that is your desire, Master. She actually kind of seems a bit bootlickery at this point. Almost as if she's uh, eager to please you. There's no need for that. I it guess, won't master, help you, but I, uh, for now. I will try to restrain myself. I assume you will not be teaching me Thaumaturgy until the binding, as it is called, is complete? Indeed. Can't have too many ghouls running around with Oh, that's our perfectly skills. understandable. My uh, previous mistress was uh, not very eager to share her vampiric skills either. She said that it wasn't really necessary for my job and that I was useful for other things. Well, let me show you back to the chantry. So you're taking her home then? And yes, I don't see why I'd leave her now. The kind I gave her a point of blood already. It would be waste to just leave her there in the alley. Okay, so take her Go with you. Go to chat with her about her skills, so I know at least somewhat how, well, how much she's good at. Well, if she's she has good any... at... Uh, reading Next people. Uh, she's good at reading people. She's good at uh, uh, seduction, and she's good at firearms. Strangely enough, since she has trained extensively, even though she is uh, not necessarily uh, naturally inclined in that direction, she seems to be a sort of a social canon type of character. You know. Okay. I mean, no. you could... Um, she currently has two blood points in her system, right? Uh, you could drain some of her human blood, say two points, and she could heal the wound with one of those points, since they will, one of them will decay pretty soon anyway. If, you know, you wanted to uh, use her that way. Hell, you could even uh, take three points, and she would probably bounce back relatively quickly. I'll just take two points since I don't see a okay so mark up uh, two points on your sheet then uh, do you want to go out hunting some more this time perhaps uh, bringing her along sure uh, okay so uh, 
since she is uh, pretty damn hot and uh, since well, let me just take a look yeah that's fine 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 since she can uh, either lure men or women out to you or go along with the uh, hey man would you be interested in having a threesome kind of thing you know um you know you can uh, subtract two from the difficulty while you're using her as a hunting assistant good so uh we got some new tires for that other the car in the the other car now uh you don't have tires you're still figuring out how to get it towed and uh chopped up for parts or sold I think the consensus was to ask the Bruja to help get rid of it. Okay. Uh, so we'll just have to walk then. Chloe is not here, right. Uh, Bronson is actually walking in a few minutes after you entered the chantry and he's holding several books, occult volumes in fact. What are you planning to do with those? Put them in the library. He's just walking past you. Why were they not there in the first place? And we have nearly a hundred volumes missing. We found some money in the car, Chloe and I. We've been slowly buying up the books we don't have. Okay. Carry on then. Can I check if she's I actually can I check if he uh, with a perception roll? Eh? Eh? Uh you can check if he's lying if you want. <laughs> uh he is buying the books but he did not get that money in any legitimate means. He's been stealing kids school money, he's been robbing people. He has probably been causing trouble somewhere. Uh, I'll sigh heavily, but allowing him to carry on. <laughs> I mean, uh, maybe he needs some more schooling. You could taught him a lesson. <laughs> you have the blood like, now, right? Talk with Malik about this. <laughs> he about just glares at you. Fun. I'm, do you, you say, say that out loud? That you will talk no, with Malik? Yet. I, as I said, I'll talk with Malik about that. Okay. He just walks in that. and uh, starts shelving the books, very carefully making sure that he gets the cataloging system right and he updates the entries properly. This isn't necessarily his kind of work, so he's really careful at it. Uh, uh, Romina actually turns towards you, since that's her name, and I'm actually gonna move her okay. from the NPCs to the servants and allies folder and uh, show her to you uh, she asks I could go and help him or I s assume you might want to keep the library off limits to me for now for now but I also want and I also want you to come with me well. alright she goes with you where do you go I go to hunt. Okay, as you walk I out, said that she uh, asks, so where are we going, master? I you staying around, so I don't have the time to walk around the entire fucking city for, for, uh, for the red lights district or anything. I mean, you would probably be expected to pay first. And I don't think you have that much money, right? What? I mean, in the red lights district, if you're gonna feed from prostitutes. I mean, you could certainly try to contract one, but... No, I was like, thinking about, like, the bars and such. Oh, yeah, so, uh... So... Would I, would, I was talking about walking around the... the uh, in the nearby area. And so it's difficulty six with her bonus. You are essentially in the area with this one as well. You found her uh, slumming it in this uh, somewhat crappy part of town. Like it. So just what do you tell? Uh 
yeah, you roll your normal amount of dice, but you get a bonus on difficulty. Namely, it's uh, two lower than it would normally be with her assisting. Okay, you find two victims. Apparently, a pair of college girls are quite happy to have a foursome. What? <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, you can safely take four points of blood and leave them with very interesting love bites. Uh, please roll your infection chance two times, if you bite both of them. Yeah, 1d10 just? Uh, yeah, 1d10, one or two, they will have an infection at some point. Nope, you're fine, you just left very distinctive marks. I assume in places that clothing generally covers. Yes, like the very close to the. Yeah, I. Got anyway. It. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you want to hunt again? I mean, uh, there's still uh, some of the night left. I assume the event in the Bruja Elysium has uh, probably started, but. Uh, you know. I'm almost full up on blood, so I don't think there's a good reason for me to do it. I mean, uh, you might as well stay as close to full as you can, right? Since you're gonna have to hunt eventually anyway, right? And uh, you can just I store it uh... in your body until you're ready to use it, right? Yeah, that's true. So I'm going to hunt again and also feed uh, feed Romina, two points of blood before that. Uh, you need to blood, do I mean. it on separate nights. Oh, it okay. It won't take unless you wait, well, at least 20 hours. Usually people go with 24 since it's essentially on the next night, but there's a little bit of drift that the mystical rules involved allows. So, uh, yeah. Okay, sure. So you can uh, finish binding her tomorrow or the night after that. Uh, do, uh, do you at any point in this have uh, heightened senses active? As... Probably not. All right. Then... Like I don't think I activate aspects. Like oh, we're going around the corner. Let's activate aspects. Well, I mean, it might make sense for you to sweep up and down the street as you exit the Chantry on occasion. Yeah, like, okay, yeah, that makes more sense. I was thinking more like, oh, let's enter the bar and let's start glowing my eyes frequently or something. I mean, it's more like a sort of muted glint, like, uh, it wouldn't show up that well, it's something you would miss, especially if you were wearing sunglasses, for example. But, yeah. Okay, so if you want to do a sweep of Auspex 2, um, uh, please uh, do so. I assume you... Uh, yes. A blood point, right? Uh, no, Auspex 2 is... Uh, or, you're essentially using heightened senses right? And that is free. It's just that heightened senses gets more powerful as your levels in all specs increase. Okay, so, what do I roll? Uh, a perception awareness at difficulty 7. I mean, this should have been a difficulty 7, I screwed up there, but it's still three successes, so... Uh, go ahead no and make the uh, contested roll. And you know, since you've managed to acquire a very useful servant, I'm actually going to let you recover one of those points of willpower that you are spending so very quickly, due to extreme generosity and due to you essentially... You know, you're relaxing, you're drinking blood, you haven't been shot in a while. Things are good. Life is good. Things are getting better. I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, yeah, you don't get ambushed. But, you know, the Chantry was watched before. You were blackmailed before. Right? 
Yeah, so I'm guessing it has to do with Romina. I well, did have you come up when it comes up. I did have Malik make this same contested role outside the Chantry in the previous session, before you ever met her. Oh yeah, that's right. So about such things, it's, uh, it may well be the Chantry as your uh, overwhelmingly powerful and secure base of operations. Yes, exactly the words I choose. Yeah, so you were going hunting again. Uh, Feel free to make your hunting roll. Alright, you find uh, one target. So, how much are you taking? Another two? Two points. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't hurt me. Okay, uh, roll your infection chance. Dum, dum, dum. I mean, it's perfectly fine. Just a flesh wound. We'll heal in no time. Yeah. No one's going to be alerted ever. Yes. Exactly what I hoped for. <laughs> it's not how I meant to phrase that, phrase that sentence, but whatever. It's done, it's done. <laughs> uh, you know, Romine actually looks at the wound and... I think I saw some peroxide in the uh, bathroom when I was freshening up. I, maybe we should clean it out. That's rather nasty. You can do that, actually. <laughs> I'm going to allow her to do that because, hey, good thing she's with me. I just want to use her. On a one, it probably will still get infected. On a two, due to her medical training, I mean, okay, let's be fair. I'm gonna roll her uh, uh, wits and uh, uh, medical, just to see if she can figure out how to properly treat it and make it work. Right? I mean, it would be wits, right? Since it's an in-the-moment thing and not actually study or memory. Think so. Uh, okay, yeah. So she manages to do some basic treatment. It's pr Even if it does get infected at this point, it won't be that bad. Not as bad as it could have been. So at least it's... You know, she's not gonna lose the leg. Yay! For getting a medical ghoul. I mean, it's uh, four dice, but it's still more training than any of the others had, right? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Alright, so... You want to keep hunting? Actually... Uh, you swing by the Chantry again, I assume. Yes, and I'm not going to keep hunting, actually. Okay, your phone rings. I answer it. Sarath Blackstone here. May I ask who you are? Sarath, is your color in the identification off? It's Ryder. Surely you've heard of me previously. The Lord is there walking is around like a uh, thunderstorm. I... He gave me the dirtiest look when I mentioned your name. Is everything all right on your end? Have you lost anyone? There have been some complications. Well, I'm sure we can resolve this, whatever it is. What happened? I won't be getting the chantry any time soon due to the... Prince owning it, and him not being exactly... Uh, Friendly to us. Eh, that's nothing. I'm, it's just a building. Ultimately, we can always build a new one. I'm, if, I'm sure that's not what Cornelius is mad about. It's, we can certainly afford a new building. Even It might take a bit of time to set up properly, but it's uh, hardly that big a deal. 
you do have control of what's left of the library, right? Yes, we do. A large, as uh, as suspected, large amount of the works have been pilfered and such, but they are, for the most part, good enough for us. Well, the basic stuff is there. Exactly, that's what I meant to say. Okay. Uh, are you trying to not mention the Diablery? If so, please roll a manipulation subterfuge on your sire, you evil bastard. I am going to do it, and Sven will part, because I don't want to watch this one. This would be very bad if I did. Uh, okay. Uh, he is very concerned. He's going to spend willpower as well, and he's going to roll perception empathy on you. Okay. Uh, make your roll. Okay. Oh, well, okay, he just says, Listen, Serath, I know the situation is dire, but try not to be too pessimistic, okay? I know how you can get, but Cornelius doesn't like whining. He thinks it's you making excuses. Just say you can do it even if you don't feel it. It will work out all right. Trust me, we'll make this work. I'll help whatever way I can on my end, okay? Just keep working on it. You can do this. I'm certain it will. You are, I'm certain you are correct. Well, was, the, that's was there anything the else you wanted to ask me? That's the spirit, my boy. That's the spirit. Put a brave face on it, even if you don't feel it. That's exactly how you need to talk to Cornelius. Uh, okay, and he actually asks you: Is there any way I can help you? Well, I've been wondering uh, how much lupine activity has there been in the area? Uh, actually, recently. there have been quite a few of them passing around. The gangrel in our city certainly reported seeing two of them moving through the woods, and uh, usually the local lupines stay in their strong areas, uh, and some of the other cities, some the people I've talked to have mentioned it. I think a couple of cities over, one of the lupines actually killed two gangrel and wounded the third, and that's certainly uncharacteristic. I yes, I've heard I've heard the rumors. They have been they have a large amount of them have been gotten uh, have been getting a lot more ferocious recently. Well, but there I was has wondering if there's been uh, chaos in the area. What with the sabbat activity, they do view our kind as an abomination. Maybe they are simply on the warpath because of it. If so, be very careful, my boy. Though, I do believe you had the foresight to equip yourself with silver. Indeed, we did. I was going to ask you if you could m uh, allow us to gain access to the warding circle against lupines. Ritual. It would be. I wouldn't want to get caught, uh, caught off guard by them, now would I? And uh, the Lord wants to approve all trades made with your chantry personally. I can get access to the book. I know the local librarian rather well. He owes me a favor. I can have a copy made with no trouble whatsoever. But. Uh, how are you on guards? I know you have at least four vampires in the Chantry, and I'm sure you always have someone guarding the place, but have you managed to acquire any more guards for the place during daytime hours? The Sabbat do use a great many ghouls, especially the, sub the Zemitsi. Indeed, we, I have just acquired one of my own. She seems quite... How should I put it? Good at this. In the future. Uh, she, she seems... She has potential. Well, I'm certainly glad things are working out for you. Um, I would certainly recommend keeping at least uh, two people that can use firearms at least. 
I mean, there should at least be two people in the Chantry, if not outright on guard at all times. If you can manage that, I think I can convince the Lord to authorize uh, sending the book over by a cool courier. Good to know. So, have any of the others managed to get any more guards, or is it just you so far? Just me so far, but it seems but we should be able to have gu uh, the guards at the chantry at all times. And I will soon be, uh, I will soon be setting up a, a, a ritual of uh, uh, the warding circle against the ghouls. I will be setting up the warding circle ag uh, against the ghouls soon, so. There, there will be less chance of us getting ambushed by them. Well, that would certainly go a long way. Uh, I have been looking into who might have uh, framed you for the burning of the lab. However, it seems like a pretty difficult proposition. Nobody seems to know anything, or if they do, they have no idea. There are several witnesses who claim, even under domination, that they saw you leaving the room right after the uh, fire started and in all honesty they are just ghouls, they may well have been dominated but if so I even with all my skill at that discipline have been unable to break through the suggestions implanted in their minds. I'm sorry but um, I'm sorry my child but I really haven't been able to move that along at all. You may well have to stay on your guard and wait for our enemy to make some sort of mistake because I am having no luck discovering their identity or clearing your name. It is too bad. Well... Stay alive. We will... I will. You will either find a way to succeed or I will find a way to get you out of this ticklish mission. I do hope on the form. Yes, well, some would say it is a prime opportunity for someone ambitious and talented to uh, make something of themselves. Certainly promotions are hard to secure in an immortal society. And now you have a great deal of room to move, at least as far as Springfield is concerned. Indeed. Was there anything else you wanted to discuss today? Not Tonight? unless you had anything else to, uh, that you wanted me to look into for you. I mean, I have my own tasks and research, but um, I can certainly make some time for your needs as well, if it's important enough. Not as of yet. I'll be studying uh, quite a bit, uh, quite a bit in the near future, and I will inform you of anything. Yes, do stay in touch. Of any merit happens. Yes, let me know if uh, anything important comes up. I could certainly uh, use any uh, significant information, especially on politics, to a uh, trade. There are certainly people outside Springfield that have interests with some of the vampires or other kindred, as some of the older farts like to call them in the city, and I can uh, certainly take advantage of knowledge. In any case, what? good night to you, Sarath. Good night to you, my sire. And he hangs up on you. And I put the phone away. Uh, seeing this, uh, Romina actually walks over to you and uh, asks you for your number. I give it to her. Yeah, and she sends her contact details over in a uh, SMS. Okay. Okay, so uh, where to next? You can move it uh, up to next night. 
I guess. Okay, how long has it been? This is night four, right? It should be that way. Yeah. Okay, let's see. You know? Yeah, I can... I can actually make this work, so... Uh, sure. Uh, we can uh, play out the uh, two nights, since uh, nobody else seems to be showing up and the bacon seems to be busy, that it will take to uh, Bloodbind Romina, and you can certainly uh, roleplay that out as you school her in your needs and uh, ways. Sure. Okay, so um, uh, make a note that you're uh, busy till uh, uh, night six, or the start of night six at the very least. And, uh, okay, we're on, the two of us, at least, are on night five, right? So, um, subtract a point of blood, two in fact, since you'll be feeding Romina one, and uh, you may then proceed in whatever fashion you might uh, decide. Well, I am planning on starting to study the ritual to create the warning circle against ghouls. When do I start rolling? Uh, I th think we're gonna do that after the first week. Okay. Uh, s well, first week's man studying, or thereabouts. Uh, how many dice do you have in that? Seven? Yep. Uh, so you are well above average. Yeah. Uh, if you can score, say, three successes after week one, you can finish it in uh, that time. If you score something like two uh, or one, I guess I can let you roll again after uh, uh, three days, simply because at some point you have it all covered, even if you are just, you know, memorizing it. So, oh. do you have a Romina assisting you? Or are you still... Unless she has something else to do, which I don't think so. I mean, you did just spend two blood points, so what are you on? Eleven. I mean, you could hunt again. Or you could hunt the next night more the next night because feels just like in a waste case you not get take... uh, lucky yeah exactly okay that's perfectly fine okay so you are uh, studying away you are learning the warding circle versus ghouls uh, please make a note that you are you have spent one night studying that in your uh, rituals list, just so that we can keep a, keep track of it. Just, you know. Uh, under rituals, just uh, add that it is a level 1 to the communicate with kindred side, just like uh, put uh, 1 in front of it, and then add a second line stating that you have uh, something like studying warding circle versus ghouls and one day or something along those lines okay affirmative okay uh, so since nothing exceptional will happen in the Chantry, since, you know, so few people are here today, uh, you can just uh, move on to the next night. And I'm actually going to split the recording here, because, again, 40 minutes. Time to uh, spread it out a bit.